just want to make a quick video for you about something that I discovered was a, about a month or so ago. I regularly do uh, what we call a vanity search on Google. Uh, that's basically where you search for your own name and the reason I do this is because my name for the past 12 years has pretty been, much been my business name. I've used it for radio, for voiceovers and for other things. So it's quite important to me to rank well for my name as it may be for you as well if you've become well known in your particular market so I did a vanity search and as many of you will know if you search on Google but you're not based in the US so in my case I'm in the UK the Google searches that come up even if you say I want to search the whole web the Google searches that will come up will be a little bit more geography based so I'm going to see uh, primarily what people searching in the UK will see and that's all looking good look you know I've got my voiceovers page there audio marketing blog there <laughs> don't know how they managed to get into third place but they did uh, that's a company I do occasional work for uh, Facebook you know all all these things Twitter so top five there already looking very good all me uh, on Google but the problem came when I did a search for the US Lisa Hartwell uh, and how I can tell you how I do this is I've got a uh, an add-on on my browser called Google Global and all I do is click on the USA button and as you'll see not doing so well now in the US that's mainly because of Lisa Wu Hartwell who seems to be doing very well online and you know she is a lot more famous than I am as much as I would like to kid myself uh, she is a famous person and as you can see she now is dominating a lot of these top positions so that's something I'm gonna have to work at in getting myself a little bit higher up on the rankings uh, in the US in fact if you look through here not doing too well at all I'm on I am on the first page but um, I'm fairly low down until I, I was scanning down when I was doing my search and I came across this right at the bottom of the first page of Google for the US um, now I wasn't there profile results for Lisa Hartwell brought up this Lisa Bolton Hartwell only and I thought hmm what's this all about so these are basically new profile pages that you can create in Google I've already created mine I did that because I think if something like this occurs particularly on Google you want to grab your piece of uh, internet real estate for that uh, so I wanted to get in there quick and get my name as the predominant uh, profile result for Lisa Hartwell if you click on the name of the person if you've already created a profile or somebody's already created a profile as I have this is what you'll see so it almost always appears at the bottom of the uh, I think in fact I, I believe that is the spot it will always appear on on Google is at the bottom of the first page which isn't a bad place to appear and you can pretty much uh, claim your name and add all sorts of things so um, particularly I mean if you use your name for business but you're in a particular business then you write your about me make sure you get a lot of your keywords in there uh, and also you can import all these different things uh, that uh, that are your internet real estate as it were so in my case I've got my Twitter I've got the Secret Women's Business Network blog. I've got my I Am Geek Girl and Audible Marketing blog. I seem to have more than one. Oh, that will be the that's our opt-in page, and that will be the blog. I've got friend feed, YouTube, Flickr, stumble upon. There are various things that you can add to this. So my Flickr pictures appear here, which at the moment are not very exciting. Uh, that was when I went flying over Plymouth and Cornwall. So uh, I need to just add a little bit more, like they'll ask you a few questions that you can add as well. So something I still can't find on Google, that'll be my 20s, which I thought was quite amusing at the time. But um, yeah, well, maybe not. So definitely urge you to go, aw go away, go to Google, check out who's got your name on your profile on the Google profile and uh, of course make sure you set up your own whether there's anybody there or not it's an ideal way to uh, get your name up there and be on that first page of results for your name and uh, 
potentially for your business as well haven't explored it in terms of business names or you know niche uh, names but uh, definitely something worth exploring <laughs>